good morning all so this is the question bank from btu for engineering visualization subject now we are moving on to the second section that is projection of lines so in this first problem given a line pq has its end dash mm and above hp and dash mm in front of it so if so from here onwards uh, i need to take the values in order to do the problem because they have not mentioned any values here so randomly i will choose the values in order to solve the problem okay so these problems i am doing based on the request of the students so make sure you all uh, share this problem to the all the needy students and and it will be helpful for them okay so subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to maximum students okay first i have drawn an x y line and now i have to consider the end point distance NDA having distance, I will be defining some reference distance I will be considering. Okay, so 20 mm above HP, and because they are not given any kind of distance here, and 30 mm in front of VP. Okay, so the, that is a, a for the line P. Okay, and similarly for uh, end B, they have given. Uh, dash dash mm below hp and dash dash mm below behind vp so again we should consider the length here for them for the end q also here i'll consider some distance here thirty mm above hp and behind vp means it is for the top view so behind vp means it is for the top view so here i'll consider some distance uh, 45 mm in front of vp behind vp okay so these are the local distances now the end projector distance also we have to define here so they are telling in the question first I will take end point distance ok for the end points P and P dash that is E dash so we can mention it is because it is a confusion in the question they are mentioning PQ and then they are mentioning NDA and B. I will be considering as a uh, line AB only, okay, in order to avoid the confusion. So that is A dash and A. So the here the end projector distance, distance between the end projector of the lines given. I will take randomly the length here, I will take 60, okay. And I will draw the projection lines upward and downward. So by doing this, so we are getting the end points. B dash and B. So by joining them, we get the upper end length. Okay, this is your point B. And this is B dash. Okay, now we join with the thick line. You can show the end projector distance 60 mm, which I have been assumed. Okay, now take uh, thick line 0 0.50 to connect A dash and B dash. That is your first upper end length and the second end upper end length from A to B. Okay these two are upper end lengths and these are different in each other you see that they don't have the same length now by rotating this lens you can get the true lens so measure from a dash to b dash and cut the arc and then you have to project along line uh, vertically downward So project will lay the end of B here. Okay, this is where we are getting the B2. Join it from here to here. Okay. You can see that is what the thin line for the true length. Okay, now the same way we rotate this AB end. And we rotate this upper end length. Okay, now we draw a straight line 
projecting upward from this end okay okay now you join here from here to here so this is your b1 dash okay so we have completed both the true lens and upper end lens now i am going to measure these uh, true lens distances and angles as per the question given so measure you can see the true lens will be same in both the top and front view okay that's what the concept okay and measure the angles okay measure the angles okay guys it take uh, so much effort in order to solve these problems so i request all the students uh, to share these problems within your uh, friend circle to the maximum students the students may be studying in different colleges you can send it to them okay so it takes a, lo a lot of effort in order to solve these problems it's not easy so by randomly selecting the lens i'm trying to solve it because these problems are not exist in your solution book okay by taking some random values and doing it it's not easy so i request every student to share these problems within your uh, friend circle or if your friends are uh, there in different colleges share to them also okay so that completes the problem okay so you can mention true length uh, will be same here okay true length uh, now i am writing so the true length we are getting the same that is 62.65 mm okay and uh, true length angles true angles so as per the question true angles that is 9 degree in front view and 14 degree in top view so this completes the problem first problem projection of lines now we move on to the 